Ladies, we paint them, file them, extend them, and sometimes break them. But ever stop and ask yourself what your nails may be saying about your overall health? Dr. Sharini Iyengara, cardiologist at the Bradenton Cardiology Center and Daytime's resident doc, is here to tell us your nails could be telling you something. This is a very good topic. It's a really interesting topic because Traditionally, when you're in medical school or when any type of medical profession, one of the first things historically before we had any diagnostic equipment to diagnose diseases was the physical exam. And the nail bed is a really great area or the nails themselves to give an idea of if there's any systemic diseases or processes going on. Wow, okay, okay. So if you just have natural nails, they should be just a natural, healthy color, right? Exactly, and when people are dehydrated or in the hospital when they're not getting good perfusion, a lot of times we'll squeeze the nail we call it capillary refill because we want to see the color come back into your nail huh. quickly. So that okay. tells us how your volume status might be. But going on that subject, the appearance of the nails is very important as well. Okay, so it's not always the best thing for us to be painting our nails. Well, exactly. Painting the nails obviously gives you a false sense of what's going on underneath. We want to know what the nails look like with any, without any polish on them to basically really assess them. Okay, let's talk about some things that yep. we may see in our nails. Um, let's see our first image. Um, this is if you have... Um, the those are just, is that... No, so those, nails? Nails, those are pale nails. Perfect. That's exactly it. So if your nails are consistently looking like this without any polish and they're consistently pale, especially if they have that dark rim right under the yes. edge of the nail, this could be an indication that you're maybe having anemia, which is low blood count. Ah. Also, this could be a sign of liver disease like hepatitis or cirrhosis. Okay. So nails themselves alone, just based on that, no, that's not what you have as a condition of having an underlying disease. But if you have that, you may want to look to see if you have something else. Okay. Let's also go towards yellowing nails because I've seen that sometimes oh actually let's go to black nails first yes. if you have a black line so exactly and this is really interesting looking this could oh, wow. be a sign of underlying melanoma especially in people who have excessive sun exposure or sun exposure and they have been seen by the dermatologist for any type of obviously evaluation so if you have these types of unusual nail discoloration. It's worthwhile to say, is there something else that might be going on underlying? And definitely see your, your physician. Exactly. No question about it. Okay, now let's go to yellowing nails because that's something I've, I've seen on quite a few people. And that's actually good that you said that because yellowing nails is most of the time signing of a fungal infection. Oh, so, okay. And that's not unusual. We see this a lot. And when people have this type of condition, it's usually limited to the nail bed itself and the fungal infection could be treated with over-the-counter topicals. But if you have yellowing nails, and you have jaundiced eyes or your skin is turning different color as well, that might be an underlying sign of liver disease as well. Okay, let's go to um, a ripple in your nail. I have one right now, but I just lost my whole fingernail. So well, yeah, that's you're the exception. So when you have trauma, <laughs> that would definitely not be what we're looking for. We're looking for people who haven't had any trauma to their nails, and they have this little bit of dimpling or rippling in the middle of the nail, yeah, as you can see here. I have it right there, actually, yes. That could be a sign of an underlying arthritic or inflammatory arthritic condition. Which is what I have, So, but a lot of people have that. Okay, so you can really just check with your nails then, exactly. huh? Exactly, but you need to match it up systemically as well, because you don't want to judge a body just on the nail bed, it should be a part of the system. Okay, very quickly, tell me about brittle nails. Brittle nails is something that's very common as well, but again, if you're not banging your nails on the on the floor or the ground, and so we're looking at people who have brittle nails irrespective of any trauma, Okay, that could be a sign of thyroid dysfunction or low thyroid function, and women very commonly have this type of condition in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and are often undiagnosed. So see your doctor right away. Definitely. Dr. Irongar, always great to have you here. Thank you so much. Okay, everybody, we will be right back with more daytime. Don't go anywhere.